So here's your engine, all full of coolant. Uh, you've got your radiator here, your fan here, uh, you've got your sensor here, and your temperature gauge here. It's not the greatest engine, so yeah, just bear with me. But anyway, while everything's working good, the needle on your temperature gauge should sit around the halfway mark, maybe a little bit below. It's only really going to go higher than that if it's um, working really hard, like you're going up a big hill on a hot day or something like that. Um, or if your fan belt's broken, or you've got a blockage somewhere in the cooling system, that'll cause the temperature to go up as well. And while you've got this temperature sensor in contact with the coolant, it's going to be able to give a reading to the temperature gauge. All right, so let's just say you've blown a lower radiator hose and all your coolant leaks out of your engine. Well, then you've got a problem because your temperature gauge isn't going to do a thing. The reason for that is because there's no coolant in contact with the temperature sensor. So the sensor can't send its little message to the temperature gauge to say how hot things are. And actually, in some cases, your, your temperature gauge needle can drop um, when there's nothing in contact with it. And it's going to continue to sort of not give you any signal here um, until your coolant that's remaining in the block starts to boil and turn to steam. And then it's going to just all expand in your cooling system. And then when the the steam and the, the boiling coolant hits your, your temperature sensor, then your gauge is gonna rocket up like a, like a missile or like a rocket, there you go. Um, and then by that point, you've, you've blown your head gasket or you've warped your head or, you know, done worse. Yeah, that's pretty much killed your engine there. But if your engine's got one of these low coolant alarms on it, as soon as the coolant drops below a level where it's no longer reading on this sensor here, your alarm's going to start screeching like a pterodactyl and you're going to know that something's going on long before you even see it on the temperature gauge. So for the cost of maybe, you know, $100, they can go up from there depending on different models and bells and whistles. It really is cheap insurance considering the thousands and thousands of dollars that you would fork out to, you know, overhaul an engine that's blown its, its head gasket and plus the time that your car's not going to be on the road. I mean, if you're running a business, well, that, that'll equate to even more money. And the beauty is, your sensor is up here. So there's still going to be plenty of coolant left in your engine. So it's going to send the uh, set off the alarm long before any damage has been done to your engine. So these are definitely well worth the money. It's really cheap insurance. And yeah, I can't recommend having one of these enough. They're really worth it. So what's involved with this particular kit? You've got a little light there, a tiny little little LED, and it'll always just flash just when you go to turn it on. But when you've got a problem, when you've got no coolant in there, that will just go on and stay on. You then keep have a, um, a little alarm, which is that beep you hear, and you just put that underneath your dash somewhere. And then you've got the sensor, which goes in here. You can either screw it into your radiator here, but that'll involve drilling it and brazing a fitting in there, or just getting one of those little couplings. You can either buy them from Autobahn or Super Cheap or somewhere like that. Um, you can get this particular fitting in the kit through uh, this particular mob. Uh, and yeah, that just will let you know whenever your coolant is gone. So that's definitely gonna save you from blowing up your engine, because that's the number one cause of engine problems or engines, um, needing to be rebuilt is overheating so yeah pretty good little idea